Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Today's dogfight is going to be two very successful attack aircraft, but very different aircraft as well. On one side we have the A-10, on the other side we have the Harrier II, the AV-8B. First, some quick figures. The A-10 in dogfight configuration, 30,730 pounds. Static sea level combined thrust, 18,130 pounds, giving a thrust to weight ratio of 0 0.59. Air to air weapon stations. It has its GAU 8 multi barreled 30mm Avenger cannon, plus, we will be allowing four sidewinders on each aircraft today. Maximum speed 439 miles an hour and a wing loading in this configuration of a respectable 65 pounds per square foot. And the Harrier in our configuration, 20,668 pounds. With its improved Pegasus engine, a static sea level thrust of an impressive 23,500 pounds, giving it a staggering power to weight ratio of 1.14. That's not far off something like an F-16. This is an acceleration monster. Gun is a pod-mounted GAU-12 25mm multi-barreled equaliser cannon and four sidewinders, the same sidewinders, AIM-9M. Max speed, much faster, still subsonic though at 673 miles an hour. And the wing loading, and this is where it's worse than the A-10, a large 94.29 pounds per square foot. So today, guys, we have two very different doctrine of aircraft. Both great ground attack, but they do it very differently. This guy, slow, with a really nice straight wing and low wing loading. This guy here, moderately fast, transonic, but with a swept wing and a very high wing loading. Let's talk predictions, guys. Kinematically, I'm going to have to slightly favour the Harrier. Its speed and its energy retention is going to be superior to the A-10, it can't turn as tight and it may not even have as good turn rate, but its boom and zoom is going to be far superior. But where I think it's going to be won today is the flare rejection. The missiles are probably going to get the kills and the A-10 carries hundreds of flares. As well as that, it has a very low IR signature because of its cool engines. So I think the A-10, as long as it knows a missile is going to be coming at it, it's going to be neon unkillable with a missile. Whereas the Harrier with its hotter engines and less flares is going to be much more killable via missile. That's my prediction. What about you guys? I think because both of these platforms tend to be on the lower end of the speed envelope, that first turn after the merge is going to be important. And if too much separation is made to where the weapon engagement zone is there, I think the A-10 is going to have the advantage in being able to make it around that turn to fire a missile first. So you're saying better one circle in A-10C? I think just after the first turn, because I think the A-10 can get its nose back into the fight quicker. And because it both should, of these it should be able planes... To turn, it should be able to turn a lot harder than the Harrier, especially with that wing loading. Mm -hmm. It should be able to yeah. pull a lot more into the one circle, so it should be able to get the bore sight on a lot faster onto the Harrier. In a one circle, two circle, the Harrier will have it hands down. Yeah, I'd agree with both of those comments, well, guys. the Harrier, while it's going to have straight line speed, it does bleed speed trying to make tight turns. So it's going to have to be, it's a real gamble for the Harrier on can it get the separation to avoid missiles. Otherwise, it's going to have to stay in tight with the A-10, and I think the A-10 is going to be a better in a phone booth fighter. I think the Harrier has to go vertical. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the only one that can really do it here, yep. But that said, going vertical does leave you open to sidewinders, doesn't it, guys? Just remember, a lot of times when people are flying A-10s, they're heavily laden with weapons, so its vertical ability doesn't appear strong. But this plane's gonna be slick, not a lot of drag on it, and it's probably gonna be able to hold itself in a vertical a lot better than what you're thinking of. Because you're used, to, like I said, you're used to seeing it laden down with a lot of heavy munitions and drag. Aren't you guys? Right. Well, I'm feeling people seem to be thinking the A-10, but let's go and find out. Welcome in. We've had a quick practice just to make sure we can operate the weapons. We'll start 1v1s. Simba in a Harrier, myself in an A-10. 10,000 feet above Paris. Simba, consensual merge, and then the gloves are off. Are you ready? Ready. Go. Right, I haven't played this in a long time. So, master arm, um, sorry, master mode, check. TMS, check. Right, like riding a bike, viewers, like riding a friggin' bike. Countermeasure, check. 
working. All right, Smokey McGee, let's do it. Ooh, wingtip to wingtip. Always best tip. Oh, this Henry Mount display is beautiful, Zimba. Just saying. Ah, my teammates didn't lock. Yes, it did. It just missed. I 100% won circling this, viewers. I want that kill and I want it now. Change of plan. This is exactly where the A10 wants to be. Man, this A10's good. Simba is in all kinds of hurt here. Yo yo back into a six. Hey! Wow, that was really easy, guys. I'm not taking a piss out of Simba. That was just, this really outperformed the Harrier. And I was not expecting that. I thought that Harrier would be all over this thing. So you might be right, Simba. Right, uh, let's have our next 1v1. Fire in AV8B and drop in A10. Oh, an A10A. How interesting. And go. There is very little difference between an A10A and an A10C in terms of this uh, fight. You was, in fact, the A10A may be slightly better. It's slightly lighter. And please don't hit each other. Oh, you prats. <laughs> Just spawning new jets. Go, 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 yeah, go. I'm, I'm fine. Our viewers, let's pretend we didn't see that. Yep, that Harrier, uh, sorry, that A10 outturns that Harrier by a night and day. That wing loading, that wing loading on that straight wing. Wowie. I don't reckon, I'm gonna say, I don't reckon we're gonna get a single Harrier victory. Yeah, I'm fired head on. Right. It was the same uh, as my fault. He fight. He was all over him. Well, it was doable. I almost got you to come across my nose once. If I can get you to come across the nose, I can get you. You had very good control over the A10, and you did a good job countering. But it was you saw you still mm -hmm. almost came across yep. my nose yep. in that one to, merge. I had to kick the rudder at the last minute. All right, Simba. Well, um, anyway, let's make it fair. Uh, another two pilots, please. Next battle, Strider, Harrier, Simba, A10A. Huh. Off you go, guys. And merge. Still going. Absolutely dumb. The A10 is a turn monster. but just patiently waiting. Yep. Like a shark circling his prey. I'm amazed how good it is, to be honest. Smash. Yeah, absolutely. 
absolutely <laughs> dominated, guys. God, we could almost end this now. It's so night and day. We'll do one. Maybe we'll do one more 1v1. And then we've got to go into groups. Because groups might at least favour the Harry a bit. Otherwise, it's just doomed, guys. I'm going to try being a Harry, guys. Uh... Right, I'm going to try to Harry of viewers. I do not feel confident in this. Right, so. I'm pausing. TBC, check. Arsaram, check. Foresight, check. All right, fella. I'm going to go straight into two circle. No one circle nonsense. In fact, I'm doing better than going into vertical. Oh, balls. Um, I throttled down, I bled, but... Well, 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 yeah, well, you well. can't... You you can't give space. That's the problem. <sighs> yeah, because I thought if I could extend, if I could extend, I could start to get some rate going or, or something. No, let's keep trying, guys. Let's keep trying. Someone, someone's got to be able to do it. Next battle, Simba in the Harrier, Fire in the A10. Can anyone get the Harrier win? Simba's done well, but still the A10's found its way onto the six. Not playing with him, fire. Good biff. If you pull that off, you're going into internet fame. That's the best high yo yo I've ever seen. It is so hot, hard to spot great targets in this city. Oh, good grief, shoot the missile already. Doing a good job of staying right inside that Wes. Oh, 
him as out of options. I think he's out of options. Have you not killed that Pegasus? I get a lock and then like two seconds later I lose it. I, oh, no, yes! it's not good. Yes! Simba! People's champ right there, viewers. Oh, that can make my heart rate come down a little bit. Right, it's not done yet, Simba. Yeah, but he no longer has the thrust to outrate me. Now it's more of a matter of time. And I can apply a little more to the strengths of this plane. I seem to be missing some control surfaces. Yeah. So now I can expand the fight. And I'm dead. Uh, he ran out of energy. Yep. Nice. Yay! Well worked. I mean, Fire wasn't doing very well there, but still, Simba really, really made him really forced to win. So well done. We finally got a Harrier winning. Ooh, I might take on someone. Uh, who wants to fight me? Right, myself in the A10. I just really like flying this at the moment. It's cool. Uh, versus drop in the Harrier and unpausing. Simba's spotting stuff so hard, isn't it? And mine. It's all equal for all of us. Really drop all three sidewinders, you fluked. That's frustrating, viewers. You're inside the wes, cat. Yeah, I've got a little bit greedy there, viewers. mind but any more time to go pull up, pull don't up. be so greedy cap don't be so greedy altitude, altitude. Altitude, altitude. oh it doesn't need a sidewinder it's just too good this plane simple as that right well done for simple for winning one but I think the writing's on the wall. It's so good. I think we need to shake it up, guys, uh, to really help the Harrier out here and put multiple versus multiple, which is where the boom and zoom type fighter starts to really come into its zone. Welcome back. Three versus three. This tends to change things, viewers. So Simba, Drop, Strider, Harrier, Fire, Me, Dark, A10. Guys, same rules, and please try to merge together. Everyone just go full power just to make it easy. Three, two, one. Go. Separate the men from the boys. Yes, we are. I'm going for the uh, one that's staying co altitude. And it's flaring now. He's fired, he's fired, he's fired. Pull up, pull up. I've now brought him down. All right, talk to me, boys. Where are they at? Damn it, William Wes. Or of yours. A bit rusty with the old end of the sidewinder. You think it's an X? Simba's out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I'm boring. Great communication. Pull up. Pull up. There was not a lot of communication. Where are you at, Cap? I'm down low, right, right on the on the Seine, on the river. Pull up. Pull up. But I've got my guy well under control. He's not going anywhere. Don't worry about it. I've got it. I've got it. Oh, so Strider got him. Well done. Oh, he's still going. He's still going. 
Where's the third one then? Unknown. Gone off somewhere. Good. Oh, pretty. All three yeah. of them? No, negative. Uh, negative. Oh no, the third third one's still in the fight. 100% is a Harrier going on. Not doing very well, but... Oh man, how do you know if you've got a Sidewinder left or not? It'll be on your DNS screen. This thing flies like a friggin' F-16. It's, it's horrendously good. I'm out of, I'm out of uh, Sidewinders, guys. Missile, missile, missile. Missile, missile, missile. Done. I'm on him. Oh, I got a 30 mil on him. Draw hard, my friend. Now that is, that's awesome, guys. A10 appears to be the best friggin' dogfighter overall. This needs to fight a friggin' F16 next. Right, redo. Yeah, I did the blow through and fired at just, yep, I see where he is and just fired a missile. Yeah, I, I saw you extending out. I was like, oh, okay. Then you went in the clouds and then you came out of the clouds and it's like, oh, there you are. Harriers, fire, Simba, cap, A10s, drop, uh, strider, dark. Guys, you must merge, but off of that, you can go tactical. Three, two, one, go. My viewers, I'm gonna think outside the box. I know I can't beat these guys head on. They're just too menacing. So I'm gonna be smart. Guys, I'm blowing through. You'll see me in 20 minutes time. I'm not going to turn with them. Capri committing. Oh, for foul! Who did that? God damn it! How? Hey, box a bitch, That's huh? what I. It's exactly what I did last time, Cap. But I was 600 friggin' knots. Oh, uh, yeah, but they are able to turn and be on your six God, right away. Damn it, it's too hard, viewers. I'm declaring I'm right dead. now. It's too friggin' hard. Simba, you've only got three to beat. Well, all they gotta do is keep me tied up with one. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ooh, nice. Fair play. All right, guys, we'll give it a, one more go, but I think we can kind of, I mean, we do it fairly and squarely. We change around. We don't script anything, viewers. We change around guys on each side. So we, we make everything fair. We don't bias anything. And this is all going one way, I can tell you that. Uh, what the hell can we do? What the hell can we do, Simba? Uh, become really good yeah, I'm gonna happen. at going into a scissor and s pulling the nose up and oh, slinging the oh. nozzles full down and try and get them to overshoot every time you're in a scissor. Not easy, is it? Right, fine. Drop Simba cap. I reckon that's our best chance. Strider, dark, and fight the baddie waddies. All right, three, two, one, go. All right, I've got low right. I'm biffing right away. Oh, yeah, look at that. You as I did a biff, and I managed to get right on him. Maybe, just friggin' maybe. Just friggin' maybe. If again. Well, Harry's got two on you. Oh, Jesus Christ, they're all after me! Why? No, 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 no. Biffa S, Biffa S! I'm... Oh, Biffa sapped down to 50 knots, I'm dead. God damn it. Our viewers. To be fair, they were literally all on me. Go on, Simba. Go on, Simba. <laughs> oh, nice. Simba. Champion de la medaille. All right, where you at? Where you at? Oh, no, on the face. Oh, uh, yes, 1v1. Drop 1v1. Oh, my goodness gracious me. I've never been so excited. Come on, drop. Come on, drop. Come on, drop. Come on, drop. Yes! 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 Oh, so. Come on, drop. 
did that son of a bitch round. No! Je m'appelle la tendarde! Oh god, damn it, who was it? Strider, you son of a bitch. Oh, we got close though, didn't we? We got close. That's doable. I actually, um, I'll go in there one more time, but then we're definitely finishing. So what I found there, guys, is when I got to about 400 knots in a turn, I viff the nozzles round and I get a massive instantaneous turn rate, which helps fox those A10s. But then I just die because I run out of airspeed. But for that moment that I'm doing it, I feel like a king. Uh, I spent a lot of time practicing against drops the other night okay. on how to viff the <laughs> viff it and survive. What that man said. Right, guys. Uh, three, two, one, go. Also, Cap, yes, I fly, I've been flying in combat mode for the engine. Yeah, I don't know. I'll just leave it. I haven't burned the engine out yet in a dogfight. Flying so. combat mode. Engage. All right, Simba's got right. Cap left. And fifth it round, Super Cap. Look at that instantaneous turn rate I get, viewers. I just have to be really all right, clear. We got, uh, uh, all three of them have turned yep, low and left. Yep, 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 yep. I'm looking for a solution. I'm going for the rear one. His aspect's better. I might get a solution. Garage, I got lead. I'm nose on. Box two. Come on, come on. Yes! Dark shot my fat one! Alright, be advised, we got one low going across the the water. Yeah, someone's got one on the six. Flat, flat, flat. Bearing. Come on, give me it, give me it, give me it, give me it, give me it! You foxy bastard. Simba's down. All right, we've got, we've got, we're good. We're good. Ooh, Viewington, Wimington, Wimingtons. We are coming alive. Fifth, that son of a bitch. Oh, I'm getting good at the Harrier now. Oh, why won't it fire? Why won't it fire? Shit, what's happening, Master Arm? Oh, got my nozzles uh, down. Yeah. Got my nozzles down. Oh, no, he went for the Harrier! I'm so sorry! No! <laughs> Drop! Down. It, it, a thing happened. You'll see it on the camera. A thing definitely happened. You can't blame me. I'm too pretty. It's off. Is it 1v1? 2v1, I believe. So the problem I'm finding, viewers, is when I'm vectoring the nozzles, I can't do flares at the same time because the way I've got my controls set up, as well as that, when I've got my nozzles down... I can't fire the damn weapon. Pull up, pull up. No, 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 you're right. Oh, bollock! God damn it. Oh, I give up, guys. Splat. Oh, if I hadn't friendly fired that. Oh, I reckon that would have been one. Well done, A10s. A10's definitely a better dogfighter, guys. It's just, um, it's, and it's so, man, it's easy to fly, right? I don't think I stalled it once. The wing loading on the Harrier makes it much harder to fight. It's still doable, and using your uh, thrust vectoring, it can actually give you a great instantaneous turn rate, like maybe even better than a proper, proper fighter. That was really impressive. But it causes, if unless you set up, I'm already set up for it, it was starting to cause me complications. So I say A10, uh, well, A1, obviously, almost all of the fights, but it's possible in a Harrier, but you've got to be really good. Uh, what do you guys think? Or a really bad A10 driver. Don't get close, uh, don't mean, get far. Yep, I think it played out as described the... Even though the Harrier is the kinematically faster jet, it's not significantly enough fast enough. It's not fast enough to get outside of a nine's range in time. So mm -hmm. it, it's got to use its tricks to jam the Wes in the A10 because mm -hmm. the A10 it's just a lot better, slow speed, tighter turner. Right, guys, great summary there. If you want to beat it, you've got to do your thrust vectoring and get everything just right, which is really hard for viewers. That's it. I hope you enjoyed that, and bye bye.